hey guys welcome back to my channel we're back in this corner again and in today's video i'm gonna show you guys my new year's resolution list yeah okay, usually i do have a new year's resolution like stuff but i don't really like write it down and make a whole list like i am today so we're gonna go through it with you guys and if you guys want to like steal some ideas from my list or if you make a list with me right now then that that would be great i know some people are against making like new year's resolution lists and stuff like that they're like nah it, like it doesn't work and stuff it's better to just do the list and then if it doesn't work that's fine like you have nothing to lose but if it does work then you can look back to a list and be like okay i stuck to something this year so for my list i'm gonna be going through it with you i have like a little like i have my laptop right here so i'll be looking down sometimes but i've made like a whole list that i've divided it into five But yeah, so the first thing for health and fitness is I'm going to put drink more water. This is the same thing that I wished I did this year. And I bought, like literally, I bought this bottle to drink more water. It's like two liters. I still failed, but you know, we're going to try again. We're going to try again and we're going to drink more water next year. It's really good for your health. And ever since I saw like a picture where there was like kidney stones and stuff and it was related to drinking less water, I was like, okay, I need to be serious. So for health reasons and it improves your skin. So I'm going to drink more water. So this year I've slacked a lot in working out, especially December, but you know what? It's December. So but when I was home, I was working out three times a week. When I came here, it was like two times a week. And then now it's like zero times a week. <laughs> so next year though, I want to aim for uh, working out four times a week. I really hope I stick to it. The third thing I put is eat more vegetables. I do eat healthy, but then that doesn't mean I eat vegetables. Like, so it's, for example, I eat a lot of oats to like substitute for vegetables because oats have like a lot of fiber, a lot of stuff that the vegetables have. So they help me out but i think i really need to just like get into eating veggies making them taste nicer to eat than not my favorite thing to eat but i think next year i think it's good for me to like incorporate veggies in my diet okay so we're done with fitness and health and then we're gonna go to personal growth the first thing is practice gratitude or be more grateful by doing that i think i'm gonna like have like a journal where i put everything that i'm grateful for and i think it really helps especially if you're having like a bad day like it just brightens up the day you be more grateful for what you have and you don't like take advantage of things take advantage of people and i think i need more of that so next year we're gonna practice gratitude we're gonna be more grateful second thing is i'm going to study the bible so like i've been reading it like just like reading like storytelling but i think maybe i should sit down and study it write down the things that are speaking to me like so i'm gonna try that by like having a longer like time in the morning to read because if i don't read in the morning i'm not gonna read at all <laughs> so this other one is to use less social media this one was also my resolution for this year i was like okay i'm gonna be living in the moment i'm not gonna be on my phone i'm not going to like go to places just take pictures i know some people do that it's fine but I'm not gonna like do things for social media. Clearly, I failed, <laughs> but it's fine. I think I tried two months where I really, really, like, really, really tried and it worked and it was really nice. But this time around, maybe I'll just have like a balance. So to do that, I'm gonna, I already started doing it actually. I'm gonna have like a limit of how much I consume on social, like, social media. My phone has like a thingy where you can limit your time, it discourages you to use less social media. So I'm gonna use that next year. The other thing is, I wanna have a skincare routine my skin guys have battled I've battled the most with my skin I don't know what it is we'll see what works with my skin but I have really sensitive skin and it also it reacts like when I eat chocolate when I eat nuts and then also hormones time of the month my skin reacts it's very frustrating and I just gave up we'll try again next year I want to help more people in 2022 and that may be like maybe allocating time to people to, or a person i mean if you can help someone financially then you should do that and if i can then i will do that as well but you can also help people by like just being there for them listening to them taking them out just like showing your love to them or helping them out on like maybe they have a lot going on in their life right now and you can help them out by doing little things that they need help with so next year i think i'm gonna help more people hopefully and yeah i hope it works out but also on personal growth i would like to read more and yes i've said this almost every year and i fail but we'll keep saying it until we get it done aiming for maybe 10 
that's a lot but maybe it, <laughs> for me that's a lot for some people it's like that's nothing hopefully i get it done so we're done with the personal growth part next we're gonna go into career so i only have like two things here because um i am still like trying to figure out like my career and everything i have graduated currently unemployed you know but next year i want to like i want to perfect my skills for my career so that would be like i may take a course like what i did this year was really nice apart from school i took other courses that will help me like help my resume help me if i get a job it'll help me with my skills and that so i want to take more courses related to my career next year okay so we're done with career it's just one thing the other one is creative slash hobbies i take youtube like as a hobby i want to be more consistent with youtube with you guys like this video if you want me to be back in 2022 but yeah i want to be more consistent i want to make good content helpful content for you guys so 2022 i hope to be consistent at least maybe like a video every week that's the least i could do you know second thing i want to start painting again i don't if you guys know me personally you know i used to like paint stuff really creative draw i would paint and i would do all this stuff and then i stopped i think in 2019 i stopped doing all that stuff like i don't know what happened but i stopped and i think next year i think i'm ready to get back like to that creative side again okay and then my other hobby is this right here i really like plants i like watching them grow and everything so i i want to get more plants next year i want to be a plant mom and expand like have more babies have more plant babies the last one is financial first thing is i need to save money i need to save more money you know because we are unemployed so yeah just spend less spend more like intuitively like do i need this you know why am i getting it stuff like that so thinking twice about spending money and like saving more for the future for future investments i really want to like stick to my budget i made a really good budget or found a really good budget you guys can check out my notion video around there i show like my the budget that i'm using and i really want to stick to it make a proper budget um stick to it the whole year and i want to see what what happens this one's like a weird resolution but i want to make a wish list it's weird because i'm saying like save money and make a budget yes but you can also have like a wish list and if you've saved enough money or you're sticking to your budget then you can actually take some stuff from your wish list i really want to make a wish list of things that i want or things that i should save for stuff like that anyway so that's the end of the video i hope you guys took a little bit of something from this video i really hope i stick to these new year's resolutions because you know when january hits like all of them go out the door but then this time around i think i'm gonna go back to this i'm gonna go back to this video um look at what i said and then try to stick to it and you can always start over like if you fall off and then it's april you can always start over and still stick to your new year's resolution so thank you guys for watching my video i hope you guys like and subscribe again if you want to see me next year like the video subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one